Hi guys, let us understand the concept of movement of force by simple activity. Okay, not much things are required for this. This is a plastic ball and these are the two straws. No, you are going to find it outside. This is also a straw. That means you need two straws and a plastic ball. Okay. Now, first of all, let us understand about movement of force or simply we can call it as torque. So what is called as torque? Torque is a thing which is going to produce turning effect. If it is going to produce a turning effect, then we can consider it as torque. Okay. Now let us see a small activity. I'm going to show you once. Wait. Okay. Now let us make these two straws pointed towards one direction see those two are in one direction and i'm going to blow air from here are you going to find any turning effect no see i'm going to make it now these two are in opposite direction of each other now what you are going to find Are you going to produce a turning effect here? Okay, isn't it interesting? Now, let us understand why this thing is going to happen and what makes it. See, when I'm going to blow air into here, then air is going to maintain force inside the ball. If these two are going to point towards one direction or same direction, then air is moving in this direction then it cannot produce turning effect. Now, if I'm going to make it in opposite direction, what makes the difference? Here, force is applied in this direction as well as this direction. That means two equal forces are going to act on this ball, but these two are in opposite direction of each other. Then whenever two equal parallel forces are going to act on a body, then it is going to produce a turning effect. No, one shot two birds you can understand moment of force or torque you also understand for every action there will be equal reaction in the opposite direction that is newton's third hope you understand thank you